Hello, fifth and sixth graders. Welcome to your art lesson this week. Um, today we're going to be doing a fun project, I think, um, that involves a letter. So you can choose any letter um, if you want to use your first letter of your first name or your last name. Um, I chose B for Bruniel. And you're going to make a block letter. And I know most of you know how to do that. So um, you'll begin with the block letter. You can do it all in pencil if you want. Um, I did mine in Sharpie. If you want to do it in pencil and then go over it in Sharpie, you can. Or you could go over it in marker. Um, but you'll begin with your letter. And then we're going to make an op art, which is like an optical illusion art. Um, and so you'll find one center point where you want a bunch of lines. We're going to draw a bunch of lines into that point. And then we'll color it in a way to make it look, um, make like an optical illusion. So you'll begin with your black letter. First, choose your letter. Then you will choose a point where you would like your center point. I like to do it in the middle, but you could do it really wherever. And then you're going to draw lines from that point towards the edge of your papers. I think it's best to begin with the corners and then you could do lines between. That way it will get the lines so they're in the right direction. You want to do an even number of lines. If you don't have an even number of lines, then it will end once you color it with two colors um, at the same spot. So you want to have a pattern where it's every other color. So if you have odd number then when you get to say red you'll have two reds at the same point so um i'll draw a couple lines first and show you how to start and then i'll add my other lines and um show you how it goes okay so i took the b i drew my point in the middle and then i did two lines going out now i actually recorded this whole lesson yesterday and I accidentally, instead of every time I was thinking I was pressing record, I was pressing stop. So it didn't record any of my lessons. So I did it yesterday and I did it with a Q. So once I went from this point, I added two lines between um, those two on top, which I think looks kind of cool, but this time I'm definitely gonna add more. I think it will look a lot more interesting. Um, I also think markers will look better when you color it. So just for an example, this one's not quite as cool, but if you don't wanna do quite as much work, you could also do a half sheet of paper and it will be a little less work to do all the coloring. So I'm gonna add extra lines between. I think I might, I'll probably do four extra on the sides and three here. Um, and then that will make an even number. All right, so I did a lot more lines this time. So I split the top two lines in three, and that's easier. You just do one in the middle and then split it. The four on this side are a little harder because you have to do two and two. Um, but then I still have an even number of lines, so when I color it, it should all work out. So if you look, um, when you color the outside, that's what I start with. You can choose two colors, or you can just do one color in white, and you do every other, and then you do the opposite inside your letter. I also think it would be cool, maybe you could do like, a, if you wanted to do a U of M sign, or a Spartan sign, or Notre Dame, and you could use their colors when you color it. That might be another option that would be cool. So I'm gonna start with the first row of coloring, and I will show you how it turns out. Okay, this is the first step. You're going to take a marker and do every other shape on the outside part around your letter. And then you will take that same color and you'll do it on the opposite on the inside. So you'll leave this one white. And you'll color the, I'd color this one pink, white, pink. Okay, so that's the next step. And then when you get to the middle of the letters, if you have a middle of the letter, if you had an S or a T, you wouldn't have a middle, but um, any of the ones that have um, spots in the middle, you would do an opposite color of the letter. So I will finish it up and show you my finished product. 
Okay, this is my final product for my Brunel B. Um, I think it would be even cool to have more lines. Um, you can see every color is opposite as you go in, even this little spot here. Keep on doing the opposite color. It would even look nice um, in pencil. If you did it all in pencil and shaded in um, every other color, I think that would look cool too. Or like I said, if you did a sports team and did their colors, I think that would look nice. And if you don't want to do as much work, do a half sheet of paper. If you bring it in on uh, Wednesday or Thursday, you guys will get a piece of candy. I hope you guys have had a wonderful spring break and Easter and are working hard this week, but try to be creative. Do my art lesson. I'd appreciate it. I can't wait to see you guys next week. Take care.